We've hit a dodgy bit of form and we're playing Celtic in the cup. Wish us luck. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today it is Scottish Cup fourth round action against Celtic at Parkhead. Now this is going to be tough. Before we jump into it though, let's have a look at the promise that I made you in the last episode to show you some more transfers. Now, I'm not going to lie, there has not been much in the way of incoming transfers. And by that I mean there's not been any since the last episode. We ended January without actually bringing in any more faces. We do have some players leaving the club. We have Thomas Cherney, as I said in the last episode, and Bruce Anderson. Ash Taylor, now again, Connor Power, and Luke Turner are also now leaving the club, which, again, not massive losses to be honest for us. No one that was really part of our long-term plan there. Bruce was a bit of a, a kick in the teeth, but again, we've got we've got better options coming through the youth ranks than him. So as I said in the intro to the video, we have hit a bit of a, a dip in form since the Rangers game in the semi-final that you saw last week. Drew away 0-0 against St Johnston. We then beat Morton in the third round of the Scottish Cup. That was expected. We lost out to Livingston, unfortunately. We then got a good result away at Easter Road against Hibs. And since then we have drawn against St Mirren and lost 3-0 to Motherwell. Callum Lang got the hat-trick, who is a player that I'm now scouting to see if we can maybe bring him in next season from Wigan, um, because he can score a hat-trick against me. I mean, I'm, I'm more than happy to take him on board. If you can't beat them, join them, is what they say. So today, it brings us to this, the Scottish Cup fourth round tie against Celtic. Now, if we have a look at Celtic, they've been in good form, to be honest. Um, again, they are sitting second, but they've they've been doing quite well, to be honest. They lost out to Rangers, they lost to Motherwell in extra time, and lost to Kilmarnock. But apart from that, they've not actually, you know, even drawn a game since what December. So they're they're doing quite well, uh, and that's someone that we've got to kind of look out for that team um, there. So this is the team we have going out against Celtic here in the fourth round of the Scottish Cup. So we have De Silva and Hernandez as our wing backs. Constein and Hoban in the centre defence. Obviously Joe Lewis and goals. Can't forget about him. Ojo, McGeek and Campbell are our midfield as Lewis Ferguson and Ross McCrory are both out with injuries at the moment, which is a bit of a, a sickener to be honest, but they'll try and do the job of the two. We then have Hedges and Kennedy on the wings and Big Cosgrove up front on his own this time. I've made a few tweaks to the tactic, so hopefully, hopefully um, we can potentially get a result here. Um, again, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It's been a tough run of games the last three episodes. Um, I promise that the next episode we might stay away from the old farm um, just for a bit. Just to try and, um, you know, maybe try and get a win. On the channel, be nice. Um, but no, let's not be negative. Let's go into this with all positivity. And let's just jump into the game. Right, and here we go. Here's a Celtic lineup. Strong team, a very strong team. Um, and here's the team, as you've already saw, that we're lining up for. The big difference here is the form. Um, we are very, very inconsistent at the moment. But it's the Scottish Cup. Anything could happen. It's knockout football. Let's see what we can do. And the game's off. Free kick here. First chance of the game. Celtic. Forrest outside the box. Back to Griffiths. Griffiths. Is he going to go for the shot? He's not. Ayer. Going to go for the cross. He does. Roger. Ah, Rogic is right there. And it's 1-0 Celtic. 21 minutes into the game. Who's, who's marking him? That's the question. What's happening there? Ball comes in. He's got miles of space in that box. He just slots it home. Too easy, to be honest. Too, too easy. Right, let's let's see if we can get back into this. And we go into half time, one nil down. Pff, arguably not the worst position we could be in. We've had a couple of shots on target, which is always good. So let's get into the, let's get into the 
dressing room and see if we can motivate the players. Right, we're not doing badly at all. Which is very true. If we go get a goal, I can see us, you know, getting something out of this game. So, let's have a go. Throw in for Celtic. El Ahmed. Get rid of it. They're coming down again. On the right-hand side, Forrest. Goes past one, he crosses it in. Edward at the back post and it's just over. We're still in the game. Right, we're coming up to the 60 minute mark. I think it's time for a change. Right, what do we go with? So we're bringing on Scott Wright. And I'm going to bring him on for Matty Kennedy. On that right hand side. And just switch him and Scott right around. Um, right hedges, sorry. And I'm going to leave it at that for just now. Don't have too much options in terms of the way of substitutions. Just due to injuries. Right, 20 minutes to go. Into 15. Right, another sub here. I think I'm going to bring on Edmondson Cosgrove and I'm going to switch him out to press him forward there. And tactics wise, I'm thinking more direct. I'm going to take off, work the ball, and then this is all fine to be honest. That is all fine. We'll just go with that for just now. Let's see if we can get something in the last 50 minutes and see if we can force a replay. I don't even know if this goes to replays. I don't think it does, does it? We'll find out. Cole De Silva's coming on here for... Sorry, Greg Lee's coming on here for Cole De Silva. Let's see if we can get something in this last five minutes. Five minutes of stoppage time. Are we going to get a replay? And we are unfortunately not going to get anything out of that game. It's a tough one to take, I think. I mean, on the face of things, it looks like we had a, a decent enough performance, but we've obviously not played as well as we should have against Celtic. But again, 1-0 away from home. I will take that, to be honest. We, we've got a few chances in. Um, not that we saw them, but the, the stats don't lie. We've got a few chances in. I mean, that's all we can really do. Right, guys, another loss. But we will move on from this um, and hopefully finish out the season strongly and, you know, solidify our European place. The hope is that we finish at least third. I can, I can potentially see us, you know, catch up with Celtic, but I doubt it. Um, but hopefully we finish third, solidify our place there, Celtic Rangers win the Scottish Cup, and then we get Europa League that way. Otherwise, we'll be playing in the Europa Conference League next season. As long as we can secure European football, I will be happy. Next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back quite quickly um, and do two games prior to the split. So we're going to do a double header here. We're going to do Dundee United away and then Kilmarnock at home. The Kilmarnock at home game is a big one because they do sit just behind us in the league. A win against them could really slid the fireplace in third there so that is the plan for the next episode again guys the support on the channel has been absolutely huge if you guys can you know like subscribe if you're not already leave a comment down below what you thought any tips hints anything that you think would be of use and we can have a bit of a conversation down below i love you know having a chat with you guys down below if you feel so kind feel free to share the video um, and get it out there Next episode, again, like I said, we'll come back just prior to the split and then we're looking at finishing off the season quite soon. Fingers crossed we can qualify for Europe and then have another bash at that next season. Let me know what you think down below and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.